Good morning, guys. It is 10 o'clock. It is Labor Day. I'm going to work out right now. We did get invited to... Oh, sorry. Me and the boys got invited to the park, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to base that off of when the boys get their hair cut. If I'm going to go or not. I really don't like being outside, honestly, but I don't always want to see if I don't want to hang... Seem like I don't want to hang out with people, so... About to work out right now and then get myself ready and then edit a video before I even do anything today. So, yeah, and we're going to go ahead and work out now. Sweat like that from when I work out in a little while, but about to get dressed for the day, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. Um, today is Thursday. I didn't vlog, so I haven't vlogged since Monday. And on Monday, after I worked out, like I got the boys situated, like I was basically only getting up to like take care of the boys, and then Brian was home, so he was even helping with that. But I literally sat down Monday and I edited 
all day long so that's why i was able to have monday's video up tuesday and uh, wednesday and today's videos already up but um yeah that's all i did monday and then tuesday tuesday was just a day you guys it was a really mental roller coaster on tuesday and i don't want to make it seem like i was crazy it was just trying to process things mentally trying to figure things out mentally and at the end of the day all brian and i did we just got our ducks in our row and waited and we're waiting on god to do the rest and then yesterday was i wanted to show you guys yesterday because yesterday it was so cold and so chilly and such fall vibes and it's like that today but yesterday was pretty hectic too and i don't even know like what was hectic about yesterday but it felt so hectic oh yeah and then tuesday i also do, did laundry yesterday morning i ended up finishing putting the boys laundry up and then today i'm gonna sit down and edit well edit tomorrow's vlog and then i need to work out so i also need to get the boys breakfast because it's 8 55 ethan needs to get ready for school um, I think I'm going to let him do school in his room today just because I trust him to do that and I need to work out. I didn't even work out yesterday, y'all. So, yeah, I don't know if y'all want to see me work out back to back, but I am going to go ahead and do a workout. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the kitchen when I'm getting their food ready, getting the boys dressed and things like that. So, I guess I'll let you guys tag along. Yeah, you guys, look how just so cozy and gloomy it is outside because I think... I say cozy outside, but really it's cozy in my house because it's gloomy outside, but cold outside vibes make it so cozy in your house. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but this is my new background right now, you guys. So I got these pictures from Target. I made that with stuff from the Dollar Tree. Mrs. Meyer's candle, I'm pretty sure that's what gave me my intense headache yesterday. So I'm not sure if those are as natural as she says because I've used other natural candles and they don't give me a headache, headache but that one yesterday. And I don't even know if it was a candle, but something yesterday gave me a headache and I don't know if it's because I didn't get enough sleep or what the case was, but we're going to see when I light that thing again today. And then I have that pumpkin from a Target. Just a few little fall things for my background this fall season. And I guess when that candle burns out, I'll move the pumpkin to my desk, but... Yeah, I feel some fall vibes, y'all. Currently, 1.36. Um, after I worked out, and I did a 30-minute workout, I noticed on the days that I don't do anything, like not even a stretch video, I just feel sick all day because I did that 30-minute workout this morning, and I feel great. Um, one cool thing, though, is that I was able to go up in my weight. So I did a video that I did last week, and on my bent-over rows, I was only able to use 10 pounds, and then on my lateral shoulder lifts i was only able to use five pounds and then on my shoulder presses i was only able to do eight pounds this week i went up at least um this week on my back rows i went up to 15 pounds and then on my lateral lifts i went up to the eight pounds and then on my shoulder presses i did 10 pounds so i'm making improvements i wanted to show you guys Sorry, let me move my medical bills. I wanted to show you guys just a couple of things that I got from Amazon. I'll link everything down below. Um, I got some oils. I've been waiting to put oil in there all day because I ordered some fall scents. And I also ordered a couple of things. So let's just get these open. It's not what I thought. So this company actually had a this company actually had a bunch of different sets. I went ahead and grabbed the Halloween set, and this one has yeah. So this one has the scent, and I like to see what oils are in here. But they don't have it. So, um, maybe I'll have to look on the. Okay, so maybe I'll have to look at, um, 
I'll probably have to look online and see what the notes are and then our, or what oils are in here and I'll let you guys know. So, but the whole, I picked the Halloween set because it had things that I would like more. So I went with marshmallow. Let me see what this smells like. Oh, oh, that's good. Like this smells like marshmallows. It's exactly what that smells like. And then we have candy corn. When open a bag and smell it of candy corn, and that's exactly what this smells like. It smells so good. And then we have um, pumpkin pie. So you see, these ones are really, really fall scent. Like whenever you think of fall candles from Bath and Body Works, that's what this set was. Because the fall one, like the fall little set thing that they had like this was very much like outdoorsy so i went with this one because it smelled like candy but this one's pumpkin pie oh oh yeah this one smells good this one reminds me of um pumpkin caramel waffles or something like that from bath and body works and then this one is called night air this smells familiar but i can't quite it smells really fresh and smelling these are not giving me a headache so i don't think there are any chemicals in there but like i said i'll do more research on them but this one smells really good. Mmm, night air. It smells really fresh, like after you just clean your house. But it smells like fall. This, okay, when you go trick-or-treating, what it smells like outside is what this night air smells like. So this is like a really good set. This one is called Autumn Wreath. Okay, so Autumn Wreath smells, it smells like if you were to walk into Hobby Lobby or Michael's, like that's what Autumn Wreath smells like. And then this one's called caramel corn. Caramel corn smells exactly like a caramel. Like, I don't know if you remember those little hard caramel candies and they have like a little dip on the inside. I'll put a picture of them on the screen. That's what these smell, that's what this one smells like. So ooh, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use caramel corn today. And these are bigger than what comes in my clingenic oil, but they cost about the same. So, but you also get less of these. So yeah, they cost about the same, but you get less in the scented oil thing. So I'm gonna do like three drops of it just to see. These smell so good, you guys. So if you're wanting to do something a little bit more natural and you're not wanting to burn anything in your house because it's not good to inhale any kind of smoke, um, <laughs> that can actually make, and I know I burn candles, but I only do it because I couldn't find like, it's expensive to buy the oils to make the scents. So I was like, you know what? It may not be as good for you, but let me try these out. And yeah, so we're just gonna see how these do y'all. So I might actually buy another, I might actually buy another set of these because I know that they have sets for like all the holidays. So I might buy another one of these next week and let you guys know after I look up the ingredients and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to do that after this. Now time to open this box. Y'all, that oil is strong. I can smell it already. Okay, you guys, so in this box, I needed some more witch hazel and I kept forgetting every time we went to the store, so I just ordered on Amazon. And this was the cheapest one they had, so this is just Bior's Pore Clarifying Toner. So I did pick that up just because I need something for my pores. And then I ordered this pack of biker shorts and I got the plus size ones because it was like one size, you could like the sizes were one size fits all, plus size or extra plus size, and I was like, I know I'm not one size, but I don't think I'm extra plus size either. So let me just get plus size. So I got these burgundy ones because tall. These are not great quality, so I definitely wouldn't work out in these. But these are very much like lounge around the house, put on an oversized tee. And these, like an oversized shirt. And these are definitely, so this is the plus size. So this might fit me perfectly. I'm glad I just went with the plus size and then this gray set and they came in pack of threes for like 18 bucks so I was like okay that's only six dollars a pair that's not bad at all 
So then I got this gray set. Um, my black ones have a hole in them and then my orange ones have a hole in them. So I am going to be ordering some more. Um, just to replace my orange ones. I might be able to fix the hole in my orange ones, but the black ones, the hole is like right on the butt crack. So yeah. So I got some new black ones, just plain old black ones. So that is it for my little Amazon haul. These guys, these oils smell so strong. Like, they're so good and I'm not, mm, I will definitely use less drops. I would probably even go with two drops or one because I use three drops and it is super strong. I need to throw the trash and I'll do that after I eat, but. Yeah, that's my little mini Amazon haul for you guys. Let's see what I order next week since I'm constantly ordering from Amazon. Um, but at least last time it was actually like hygiene stuff that we needed. Just don't want to go to the store to get it. And that's probably how I'll keep doing our hygiene stuff. But yeah. So I'm going to go put this stuff up in my room. I believe my food is on the way if I just saw correctly. And then you see Bryson throwing a fit behind me because he wants his vitamins. And he only wants them because they're like candy. So, yeah, I forgot to give them with give them to them with their breakfast. So, yeah. But, yeah, I've just been editing. Um, and I haven't really been consistently editing. But I'm editing tomorrow's vlog, which was last week. And, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'll show you guys what I got for lunch. It's a very late lunch, so. I just got on my phone to see if I could, if, to look at the ingredients of those oils and to see if I'd be able to link them. And they're already out of stock and the thing says we don't know if or when these will be in stock. So I'll just keep an eye out for that, you guys, and DM me or whatever if you want the link. I'll check for you guys, but I will just link that company because they have all kinds of different sets, you guys. So I just happened to get the, like one of the last Halloween ones, apparently, and they smell so good. I'm so sorry. Alright guys, so not the healthiest, but I got, so I got, ended up getting KFC, I just got a famous bowl, ordered a biscuit and some fries, because it doesn't come with that, and then I got a Pepsi, I'm not healthy all the time, and I never said it was, but sometimes you just need a break, and fast, greasy, nasty food sounds delicious. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying it's perfect timing, because I failed you guys yesterday, and I did not show you guys my chili recipe, really I just follow... The chili recipe that's on the back of the McCormick chili pack, but you guys like to see cook with me's and things like that. And I made cornbread too. Not quite sure of what to put in, um, what kind of side to make with chicken tortilla soup, but that's what we're making. It's gonna be ready in four hours, so it'll be ready at seven o'clock. So let's go ahead and get this started. So um, I have looked at the, just the ingredient list and I was like, dang it, I don't have sour cream. I'm not going to make it, but you don't add sour cream until the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started. And then when Brian gets home, I got to go to the post office and got to go get some bread, corn, canned corn, canned, um, diced tomatoes and now sour cream. So yeah, so three boneless chicken breasts. I'm just going to go ahead and add the four that I have out and then let me get the chicken broth, green chilies, and frozen corn. So here is the green chilies. Now I need to buy more green chilies and enchilada sauce. And have my chicken broth in the fridge. Uh, right here. If you guys haven't seen, surprisingly, the organization in there has lasted pretty good if you guys didn't see my instagram post where i talked about loving organizing the fridge you wouldn't know what i'm talking about but what else was i needing okay two cups of okay so i need frozen corn taco seasoning okay so freezer time freezer's always stuffed so and what do I need? Oh, taco seasoning. And it says you only need two tablespoons. I'm gonna add the whole pack or half. And then you guys know my usual seasoning. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna coat the bottom of this today. Put a little bit of nonstick spray. 
All right, y'all, so this is gonna seem weird, but because I'm not gonna be able to flip the chicken because I'm gonna take these gloves off, I'm just gonna throw some seasoning down on the bottom of the crock pot. So that way, whatever side of the chicken I put face down in the crock pot, it'll have some seasoning. So I'm just gonna season the bottom of the crock pot. I know that seems weird. seasoning y'all so we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth some green chilies and then our corn to that and it's gonna cook for four hours ready exactly right at seven it's currently 255 so we're just gonna leave that be and then it's gonna finish cooking and then once it's done cooking we're gonna take the chicken out shred the chicken and then we'll add in the sour cream and the shredded cheese and then we'll cover it back until it's melted and then you can serve it with your favorite toppings or whatever so yeah Okay, you guys, so on this part of the vlog right here, so 13 minutes into the vlog, I'm talking about how Texas didn't get the memo about it, like, literally one week ago, I was talking about how Texas didn't get the memo that it was fall, and you guys, yesterday it was 50 degrees, and today it's in the 60s, so. I see you, Texas, and I'm gonna keep saying that you ain't get the memo until this weather is permanent, because on Friday, it's gonna, tomorrow, it's gonna be 73, and then after that, it's back up in the 80s, so. <laughs> but I just thought it was so funny that a week ago, I was saying Texas didn't get the memo, and then this week was just like, okay, excuse me. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are headed to the post office, finally. Gotta ship off Raquel's freaking giveaway finally and then got to ship off some clothes for my son from another mother so yeah see you guys in a bit okay we are at market street which is i'm pretty sure a west upper panhandle of texas type thing market street and united so we are here getting some groceries i had went to usps they closed as soon as i pulled up so I ended up going to UPS to ship off those packages, which surprisingly was super cheap. So, say hi, Ethan. Hi. So me and Ethan are here at the grocery store picking up some things for dinner. Cause so I told you guys that we needed some sour cream and stuff. So yeah, just letting Ethan get himself in. Let's get shopping. And let's see if I don't grab what I don't need and only grab what I do need. Okay, you guys, so I actually tried this Dave's Killer Bread last time. And look, right now they have it 55 cents off, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this one's pretty good. I get the white bread just because white bread, but their bread is pretty dense. Okay, and then I am going to go ahead and try their English muffins because... I wanted English muffins. Ethan, can you stop? Because I wanted English muffins the other day and we didn't have any. So, bread. Okay, so last night when I made chili, I used the last of the diced tomatoes. So I'm just picking up some diced tomatoes. I wish they, ha I wish all of it, they had organic cans of everything. So I can only find organic diced tomatoes, but I couldn't find any organic corn or anything like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. It'll be all right. Now we're going to go find... Some enchilada. See, they have like, oh, all the organic stuff is right here. Okay, never mind. They have organic corn. Now I'm about to switch it all out because I used the rest of mine today. So I'll buy three cans. Enchilis. And then. Huh. I'm going to buy 
three cans of this, of the red, since I don't have one big one. Don't throw them. And then uh, two big cans of the green, since I have the big cans. I already have a big can of the red, but not, of, I don't have any green at all. I love coming to the bakery at Market Street. Bakery. I'm gonna get Brian some of these like last time, and then I'm gonna get me some macarons. These are the flavors that they have. Everything is so freaking cute. Everything. So as you guys know, Brian snitched on me and said I like watching ASMR and I like sass ASMR and she was eating these things and I was like, man, they look so good, but I have no idea what these are, so I'm too scared to try them. But yeah, they looked so good and delicious, but this is another reason I like Market Street. They have like all of the exotic fruits that you could think of get a dragon fruit and make Brian try them with me. Ooh, we should do a mukbang of trying different or um, exotic fruits, huh? Comment down below if y'all think we should do that on camera. Another reason I can appreciate Market Street because they have an entire gluten-free, like, raw food section. can always appreciate that. It makes it easier for people to find what they're looking for. All right, y'all, so I don't even know why I stopped recording, but I did. I'm leaving Market Street, about to head to a friend's house to drop something off, and then I'm going to head home, and dinner should be ready by the time I get there, so, yeah, um, that'll be fun. Oh, and I still forgot sour cream. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I got to run back in the store and grab some sour cream, y'all. I knew there was a reason I went to the dairy part, but instead I grabbed freaking chocolate milk. All right, gonna go grab some sour cream. All right, you guys, these are the caramels that I was talking about, those oils smell like, these ones. Who remembers eating these as a kid? My grandma would always give me these. That's what that caramel candy oil smells like. Is that what I came for? Man, somebody else is smoking. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys what I got after I stopped recording. So I got this oat, this chocolate oat, this chocolate oat milk because King can't have the almond oat milk and he really likes chocolate. And Market Street's been the only place that I could find that. That takes food stamps. And then, let's see, what else did I forget to show you guys? I, we needed more grapes and everybody raised about these cotton candy grapes. So I was like, okay, let's try them. Yeah, everybody says they taste exactly like cotton candy. So I grabbed them so we could try them. And then I showed you guys the bread. And then I got some lemons because we're running low on lemons. And since these are big, we could use half for whatever we're making. We have a couple in the refrigerator, I think. And then we have to go down the chip aisle to First of all, this little thing, the whole reason I went to the store and forgot it, but we got it. But anyways, we went to the chip aisle because I was trying to find tortilla or tortilla strips and I couldn't find any, but Ethan was like, mom, I want Doritos. I want the blue bag. And they were two for six, so I just went ahead and grabbed them. And then because we were there, Guys, it's been like a month since I've eaten hot Cheetos, right babe? It's been like a month since I've had hot Cheetos, but I've had a mean craving these past two weeks, so. Got, got to monitor myself and eat the only the serving size, but I grabbed me some hot Cheetos. Got and then I went ahead and picked up some teas just because, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been wanting to grow my tea collection that we have, because I really do enjoy drinking tea. But I grabbed some for the colder months coming up. So I got some throat comfort. I got some breathe deep for respiratory health. I got cold season. And then I thought, and then I got throat coat because these have two different um, ingredients. So one is throat comfort. 
and then throat coat, so to coat the throat. And then I got this nighty night, uh, nighty night tea because I have lavender and camomile, but that, was, that one doesn't do too much for me. So I was like, let me try this nighty night tea. And then from the bakery, as you guys saw, Market Street has like the prettiest bakery ev area ever. Like, I don't know. If you look at their bakery stuff and it's just like nothing should be eaten. But I got the boys two pumpkin cookies or King and Bryson got a pumpkin cookie because that's what his brother wanted to get him. Ethan got a football cookie and then I got two pistachio macaroons and a white chocolate roasted sesame and then I got a raspberry macaroon so Brian could try it because last time he was like no I don't want to taste but then he smelled it and he was like oh that smells good so I got him one of those and then I got this little cheesecake for him that I got him last time but it is time to add the final steps to our chicken our chicken tortilla soup so what I'm about to do right now ooh, smells so good you guys so what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to shred the chicken and then I have to add four cups of cheese wow that's a lot of cheese four cups of cheese and one cup of sour cream so we're actually gonna do the cheese first and we need four cups of cheese this might be like a cup and a half just because I've already been using this cheese. So, one. Wow, it's already used a cup of cheese out of there. Then I'm just gonna use this Mexican quesadilla melting style cheese because that's all I got. Two. And don't judge me because I know I just went to the store. Three. So now I'm gonna do a cup of sour cream. Wow, that's a lot of sour cream. Cause my little thing I just bought is almost empty now. Let's make Brian's bowl. It has a lot of chicken. Cause like I said, it called for three breasts, but I did four. So we like avocado in this house. Um, and then since I don't have the strips, I couldn't find any. Pretty sure you're probably supposed to make them. I'm just gonna crunch some of these on top. Yeah, so this is tonight's dinner, you guys. I hope it's good. I'll let y'all know afterwards. All right, y'all, so dinner was a hit. That avocado was lemon-like. Don't leave that out. You need the avocado with lemon. It just takes it to a whole new level. But I'm about to start cleaning up and then I'm gonna get the boys to bed. So yeah, I'm gonna clean tonight because my boo cleaned for me last night. So let's get to cleaning. <laughs>
All right, you guys, time to head to the room. I'm going to put tomorrow's up video, I'm going to put tomorrow's video to upload. And then I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna read and I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. trying to tell you i'm vlogging today because i did not vlog yesterday so we're at the gym today this is probably going to be possibly the most exciting part of my day hey! is coming to the gym they're actually doing work on our gym right now so they've been re-roofing our gym our gym looks the way because i know it looks like we go to a really ghetto gym but it's really not ghetto i think our gym is pretty cool because it's Let's like go. it has we a basketball wishes. court a swimming pool racquetball yeah. courts and um you can also turn the basketball courts into volleyball courts obviously if you've ever played competitive athletics you would know that they just put a net up in the middle of the basketball court um so yeah i really like our gym they they host a lot of like homeschool kids their sports um is what's done at our gym so i think that's pretty cool con especially considering that we plan on homeschooling our kids eventually it's still a good way for them to get recognized if our kids end up being awesome in sports um so yeah we're here at the gym about to get a little saturday workout in pump off some steam and stress and i know we follow god but you know guys sometimes following god is always a lot easier said than done because it requires a lot of trust and a lot of letting go and even though you think you let go it's hard to stop thinking about the things that you're going through. So music has been our piece right now, just focusing on the lyrics about who God is and what he says. And then, um, yeah, so yeah, just trying to trust in him and keep meditating on his word, but it's always easier said than done. So Brian's looking at me, we're about to go into the gym, y'all. <laughs> we're in the cardio room, about to do our mile. Brian always beats me on our mile, but about to do some stretching. And then I'm gonna start running. Already? Oh, I feel like I have to too, but we'll see. So, yeah. for the last 0.25 of my mile at six. I tried really hard to keep going. Oh, I'm tired. I need to cool down. That's a good thing about an Apple Watch is it tells you the accurate distance you've gone because the treadmill says I still haven't met it yet. So the first thing we're doing in the weight area is incline chest press. So the bar alone is 45 pounds. I put 10 on each side, so that makes me pressing 65 pounds. So I'll see if I can get Brian to record my first set 
but you do three sets of this and then just max out on however many reps you can do so I can usually do about eight to ten reps so I'm gonna just max out I also haven't done press in since my surgery so we'll see how many I can do but before I was doing eight to ten reps Brian to record my first set now. I have 65 up there right now. Look at this cute wreath my sister made me i will link her channel up above where she's up above where she shows some crafts and stuff but my sister made me that wreath i thought it was cute it's kind of all year round but also perfect for fall and then i got this little pump this little hello pumpkin mat at michael's for 11 bucks my sister also made me this welcome sign she's making me one for fall but um she hasn't got it started yet but we just got home from the gym so what i'm about to do right now is cut the yard um my little yard cutting shoes but yeah this is what our grass is looking like i'm gonna try to cut it super low oh i was trying not to show my neighbor um what a cute sweet old man uh but yeah time to get it cut it i'm gonna try to cut it super low and hopefully it won't grow anymore i feel like we'll get one more good freeze and that'll like kill the grass and the bugs but yeah, i'm gonna try to cut it super duper low this week so hopefully it don't grow anymore and then i won't have to cut it again until next spring so fingers crossed we don't get any rain or anything like that until everything dies <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get this yard cut i'm not gonna film myself doing the yard because i need music and my phone won't play music if i'm um filming so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get that done all right y'all i am showered i got my ipsy in the mail today but you guys i'm so tired i don't want to film an actual video on it so i will unbox it here with you guys right now and then i will use these products in a video that will be coming and then everything will be gravy baby so yeah let's go ahead and unbox this real quick you guys it, you guys I cut this off cutting the bag open. God dang it. Ugh. And that's because I really, really like this bag, y'all. Maybe I'll try to tie it back together. Because I'm just going to put my false crunchies in here. King! So I'm going to just put my false crunchies in here and keep my summer scrunchies in the other one. So, yeah. 
But uh, this was an add-on. This is the Zoeva Caramel Melange. Melange, and let me open it real quick. Okay, guys, so I did add this on for 12 bucks, but I just thought it was like the perfect fall palette, so I'm super excited about this. It's a lot more warm tone than it looks on the camera for whatever reason. I'll try to fix that, but yeah, so like this one right here isn't as white in person, it's a lot more cream. That aftertaste one is more orange and that um almost burnt right there is super golden so yeah i'm excited to use this these are a lot more orange tone than what they look on camera on camera they look a little bit more pinky to me but they're a lot more um orange than on camera so yeah and then this says good vibes. The next thing I got was this Yensa Silk Bronzing Base. This is a Sunlight Glow Bronzer and Brush Duo. I picked this item out just because cream bronzer. And let's see if this actually has any information in it. <sighs> I wish that they would put the prices on here. But I guess, whatever. So this is just what this looks like and it comes with a little um brush for the bronzer okay so this is what the bronzer looks like um yeah that color is more accurate right there it's exactly what color it is and yeah and i'm excited for that because i've been wanting more cream bronzers and blushes so hopefully next month they let me pick a cream blush The next thing I picked was this Item Beauty Brow Chow Ultra Fine Brow Definer. It says Ultra Fine, but it didn't look Ultra Fine on the. Okay, so this is just what the packaging looks like. Let's see what the tip looks like. Oh, so it has a brush kind of like the Fenty Beauty ones, if you're familiar with that. And then, yeah, so this is a definer. I don't know why it says ultra fine. Maybe because, I don't know. I'm not a, the biggest fan of these tips, so yeah. So the next thing I got in here was this Avant Hydrolyze Collagen. Really long words. This retails for like 200 bucks. I did look that up, and I don't know. I feel like I, I got this in a BoxyCharm one time. But I feel like it broke me out. I'll try it again because, I don't know, just to try it out for you guys. But I will try it again. But I'm pretty sure I got this before and I gave it to my sister. The next thing I got, that was chosen for me, the Avant Cream. And then this was one of the things that they chose for me. And this is their Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. Well, not Ipsy's, but the Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. I've been waiting for this to come in because, like, I was pinching and squeezing my dr brant one so that way i could try this one out first before i opened my backup of my dr brant and then i chose out these uh galactic um these are called three in one lip sparkle bombs um and i'm not gonna use these on my lips i thought i would try to use these on my eyes so now that i swatched these i probably won't use them on my eyes but they are really pretty so that purple one is obviously the more purple toned one and then i hate when it's trying to focus there we go so that purple one is the more purple toned one and then that's the more pink toned one and they are balm so i think that'd be really cute for like simple makeup days just for a little fun like glittery pop i like that but yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end that vlog here um I just wanted to say real quick though, just because I know, at least for me, um, I don't know, Brian and I are facing some things right now, and I always want to say that the life that I show isn't everything in our lives, and I feel like some people may have gotten the notion or impression that Brian and I have a lot of money, and 
We don't. We are a one income household family. The only thing is that we budget. We budget like crazy. So our monthly subscription boxes, those are in the budget. And if we have to cut them out, we will. That's why I cut out the boxy charm. Like I wasn't loving it. And if I could add more money to the budget for groceries or if the boys need clothes, like let's go ahead and do that. So that's why I cut out the boxy charm. Um, but we budget every single aspect of our life. And I feel like sometimes people can watch us and they're just like oh they have money we really don't you guys and brian and i struggle all the time and like i said like i can't say it enough like we budget there's times where we want to go out on a date and we're throwing a military discount on there on top of coupons like we're not just going out and like spending bukus of money like i find coupons for everything and i only shop sales and i only shop with coupons if that makes sense so just wanted to say that if you guys would want me to go into a video how we budget then i would love to do that but like obviously i'm not going to show you like our real bank account and things like that but um i can show you how we budget how we save money and like how to find the best deals and how to get the biggest bang for your buck i'd love to do that but honestly you guys like a lot of our money actually goes into like our rent our car and like prospering in those areas because we would much rather have like um a solid foundation so a way to get to work and the kids to school and a place to lay our heads and invite people over and introduce them to the words of god those are the things that we invest in most so yeah i just felt like i needed to say that because like i said we're facing some things right now and don't ever compare your life to what it looks like on anybody's youtube channel not just mine because the struggle is real and struggles in everybody's lives are real so yeah but i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys on monday bye guys Mwah.